What is going on guys, it's Wava here, and welcome to the Outer Worlds Peril on Gorgon. Now this is the first of two DLCs that we currently know about for the Outer Worlds. The second one's supposed to be coming out next year in 2021, so that's going to be pretty exciting. But for right now, let's just start the Peril on Gorgon. Now what we need to do, because we beat the game last time, we like had like a whole end sequence and all that kind of stuff, I had to reload a save from before we beat the game, like before we did the whole point of no return sort of stuff. That way we can actually start this DLC, so I've already done that. All I have to do now is just hit continue and then travel around and then we're supposed to get like a quest giver. That's going to be starting our uh, Paralon Gorgon stuff. Let's go over here and let's go to Phineas' lab and we should get interrupted by a quest giver here in just a moment. I'm receiving an urgent docking request from another vessel. Greetings from the Halcyon Parcel Service. Delivery is guaranteed within standard margins of certainty. I've got a special delivery for Alex Hawthorne of The Unreliable. Uh, with your permission, I'll see it transferred to your ship. All right, send it over. What is it? Too bad, I'm not Hawthorne. Not interested. <laughs> Can I just be a savage and be like, yeah, I'm not interested? I am contractually obligated to deliver my cargo to the captain of The Unreliable under pain of fines, imprisonment, and censure by my superiors. Okay, well, he, he'll get fined, he'll get imprisoned because he doesn't deliver a package. Sheesh, this is crazy. Then why ask for my permission? Yeah, exactly. That's the HPS difference for you. Service with civility. <laughs> Stand by, Captain Hawthorne. An HPS certified distribution technician has deposited the parcel into your cargo hold in accordance with hazardous waste disposal procedures. What? They did what? <laughs> they did what? That sounds fine. Whatever you left on my ship, take it back. Yeah, I don't know what this this package is. It might be a bomb or something like that. What about what? Let's do number three. Whatever you left on my ship, take it back. Scheduling a redelivery will require Form 232B, Addendum 57G, and approximately 16 weeks of processing time. What? Unfortunately, we are currently experiencing a critical shortage of blank forms. I wonder why. Thank you for your patience. And please remember HPS for all of your future parcel related needs. Sure thing. Cut the transmission. Make a rude hand gesture, then cut the transmission. <laughs> Let's do that. Look, we're a savage. <laughs> oh, there we go. Nice. All right. Well, I might as well do a quick save now. There you go, just in case. Man, the game has been crashing. Like, this is actually like my 15th time doing this intro, to be quite honest. The game keeps on crashing. I don't know why. But either way, looks like we have the parcel over here. Let's go see what it is. What's inside? HPS Halcyon Parcel Service. I said, wait, what did it say right there? What's that quest marker say? Oh, it just says mysterious package. Okay. Do we have a uh, an actual quest right now? Or let's go to the journal. Oh, yep. Here you go. The ones who walk away from Gorgon. Yeah, we have this DLC mission right here. Barrel on Gorgon. I guess it's always going to have that little little green text right there. If it's a uh, so here's the brave. Deal. This is the uh, the the final mission sort of meme. I guess it's going to have this little smudge right there, too, for the DLC, so that's interesting. Or, like, asteroid thing? I don't know. The Halcyon Parcel Service delivered a package for Alex Hawthorne. Since Hawthorne is out of the picture, the package is yours by law. Hey! Open the package. Hawthorne's package is in the Unreliable's cargo hold. All right, let's see what's inside of it, then. See, uh, hopefully it's not a bomb. What is it? Oh! I, I still don't know what it is. It still just says... Oh, it's some sort of... What is that? Oh, it's like a severed hand with, like, a camera. What? Hawthorne, if you're getting this, something's happened to me. Got mixed up in some shady business on Gorgon. Should have known better. But I landed on something big. And now this job's an itch I can't stop scratching. Ooh. There's a whole research compound left to the Sprats. I think I'm close to figuring out why. But something dangerous is closer to me. Got the job through one mini Ambrose. Top runger who just came into some money was offering a hefty bit card for qualified help. Trust me, her money's good. Talk to Minnie. Take the job. If I ain't gonna live to see the payday, might as well be you. Consider us even, old pal. Well, that fellow certainly seemed trustworthy. I've gotten jobs from some unusual sources, but this is a first. Congratulations, Captain. I don't mean to sound prim, Captain, but there's got to be a better way to ask someone to do you a favor. Yeah. I just want to say, we got to take this job. This is the closest I ever been to starring in a serial drama. Only thing we're missing is a couple cameras and a soundtrack. At least this won't be boring. 
Well, seems like we already have a camera, as well as like a half-severed arm or whatever, jeez. <laughs> Ada, what the heck is going on? Nice of him to share the tip. Money and intrigue? I'm sold. That's ominous. Yeah, I don't know what to do right here. Uh, what's going on? Uh, money and intrigue? I'm like, I could do that one because I only do all this for the money, right? But uh, yeah, let's just do number three. Money and intrigue? Pff, I'm sold. Captain, the message contains landing coordinates for a small asteroid in the Charybdis cluster. It was recently registered to a Wilhelmina Ambrose. Who was this guy, Ada? Are we going to talk about the severed arm in the kitchen table? <laughs> then that's our next stop. This smells like trouble. Yeah, let's talk about the severed arm with, like, the camera attached to it. Now, I, for one, was hoping to do the exact opposite of that. What? What? Do you want to shake its hand? <laughs> yeah, can we talk about the arm? I want to take bets on how the guy lost it. My money's on cannibals. That ain't really that fella's arm, right? It's gotta be a dummy. Or a toy? Well, I'm not cleaning it up. Clean up service request processed. Disposal of human arm from the unreliable's cargo hold will commence in the immediate future. Simulating disgust. How distasteful. Humans eat there. I'm not touching it. Etc. Lucky Montoya had a statistically significant tendency to encounter situations of extreme danger. He liked to show off his battle scars. I get the feeling he won't be flashing this one around. He was also the fourth best paid freelancer in the system. <laughs> Only the fourth, exactly. You know, what am I, like, the best or something like that? I bet Ellie's probably the best nowadays, sheesh. Or at least maybe not in this alternate universe, maybe in that other alternate universe where we, you know, finish the game. Sounds promising. Only the fourth? Yeah, let's do that one. There are several hundred freelancers operating in Halcyon. Considering the numbers, Mr. Montoya ranked among the top percentile. This had less correlation with his measured aptitudes, which rank at or below average, than with a pattern of fortunate circumstances. You mean luck? Any chance he's alive? I'm like, he's got a severed arm right here. He could be alive with like a robot arm, kind of like Keanu Reeves in Cyberpunk or something crazy. But yeah, I think the word you're looking for there, Ada, is luck. Luck does not exist, Captain. Nevertheless, I am programmed to agree with your assessment. I have transferred the coordinates for Ambrose Manor to your navigation terminal. We can travel there when you are ready. All right, sounds good to me. Can I take that as like a souvenir? Oh, I can. If you're getting this, Something's happened to me. Got mixed up in some shady business on Gorgon. Should have known better. But I landed on something big. And now this job's an itch I can't stop scratching. There's a whole research compound left of the Sprats. I think I'm close to figuring out why. But something dangerous is closer to me. Got the job through one mini Ambrose. Top runger who just came into some money and was offering a hefty bid card for qualified help. Trust me, her money's good. Talk to Mini. Take the job. If I ain't gonna live to see the payday, might as well be you. Consider us even, old pal. Yeah, I don't know why it played that again, but whatever. At least we can hear it a little bit clearer this time without the music blasting over it. Anyways, let's go over here and let's see where is this. So it's over there by Scylla. Oh, I like it. They kind of changed uh, something over here. Oh, I think uh, the next DLC has something to do with Aerodonos over here, this big gas giant. So that's going to be pretty interesting. I don't know if there's... Was there anything ever to do with Typhon over here or Olympus? I don't know. I don't remember. Either way, let's go over to Gorgon, a remote asteroid home to marauders, smugglers, and an abandoned spacer's choice facility. All right, well, let's go over there. The ones who walk away from Gorgon. Let's start. At the Ambrose Manor. Let's go talk to this mini Ambrose. See what she has to say about these, like, sprats or whatever. Alright, sounds good. Oh, whoa! Yeah, it's like an asteroid with, like, an artificial, like, atmosphere or something there? I don't know what that is. Maybe. Looks like it's some sort of, like, spaceship there. Hold on, don't I have a... Yeah, we can zoom in this way. Yeah, what is that? Look at that, there's, there's Gorgon right there. Interesting. Alright, let's head down there. I don't know who we should take companion-wise, uh, and by the way, I haven't played this game since we, like, beat it back in, what was that, April or something like that, so it's been, like, almost six months since we played this, so... I'm probably going to be rusty as heck, and I don't even know, like, uh, what, what armor do we even have right now? Like, here are our guns. We've got the Gloop gun, we've got the Light Machine Gun Mark II, Finn's Farce, or Force? <laughs> farce. <laughs> Dead Eyes Hall Rifle, uh, too. 821 DPS, 938, 1752, and 132, and of course we have all these over here to use as well. What armor? Oh yeah, we had the Chim Chimera or whatever it was called that that one lady gave us that has 77 armor. 
Light armor, uh, dialect skills plus 10. What was our, uh, is this it? 62, is this really better than that? This was 62 armor. And this is 77, and it's a lower level at 26, so we can level this up even more. What was it, five levels above your current level? Man, that's crazy. Yeah, I don't know if we ever level that one up, but it is pristine, so. What's the point about our helmet, though? Man, 89 armor. Yeah, well, this is a heavy one, so yeah. Oh, and that's what we look like. Oh, and by the way, I think they uh, added a new thing where you can, like, see yourself in third person, basically. Like, the idle camera. See, that's what it looked like in third person, if you wanted to see that, so that's cool. Uh, I guess I could do the thing where it, like, hides your helmet or just, just you equip it. Yeah, there it is right there. Because we haven't seen our character, like, basically at all throughout the whole entire- Whoa, 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 I've got, like, white hair now. What am I, Sean? I look like Sean. <laughs> Let's see. If we go back to the- Yeah, look at this, I still have, uh- Oh, yeah, didn't I have, like, some weird, like, multicolored hair or something crazy? I guess it just looks weird in this lighting. And let's go out to Gorgon, and let's go see what this mini person has to say about, like, sprats or whatever. Yeah, I don't know who we're going to take. Maybe I'll take Sam for the memes. And, uh, oh wait, who do we already have? Oh, we had Vicar Mags and Nyoka. Uh, oh, I think we had Nyoka and Sam, actually, if I remember correctly, from the last mission. Uh, when we went to Tartarus, so. Maybe we won't take either of them, maybe we'll take, uh... You know, I feel like Felix might be pretty good for this one. Let's, let's take him. And it's been a little while since we've had Vicar. Maybe we'll take him as well. Let's take him too. All right, perfect. Well, let's go over here. On Gorgon, it's always Adrena time. Made with real something. I don't know what that said right there. <laughs> Welcome to Ambrose Manor. We were not expecting company. Please follow. Do not stray from the path. Well, we're not known for going where we're told, but we'll see what we can do. Uh. <laughs> what? <laughs> Gotta admit, that was kind of funny. I've never seen a more effective argument against blindly following a preordained plan. <laughs> oh, I, I, I was about to say, is that supposed to happen? But I guess it is supposed to happen. Sheesh. <laughs> Stupid. Please, please, please do not be concerned. Okay. Can I put you out of your misery or what? I don't know. <laughs> What's over here, though? I kind of want to see because it's really close by. Oh, it's like an actual area. Hold on, don't want to have this out. What is this? Oh, yeah, I think this is the N-Ray gun that we have, huh? Adreno? Uh, I don't know what this is. Groundskeeper's Journal, Volume 1. Daily Routine, Swoop the Tranquility Garden for Miss Olivia. Oil the Fish for Mr. Harvey. And repeat. Okay, just two, do two things all day, every day. And just constantly do it, I suppose. That kind of sucks. When they hired me on as a groundskeeper, I assumed there'd be grounds to keep. I'm not even allowed inside the manor. Everyone told me the Ambrose family keeps to themselves. But they're a bunch of hermits, save for the little one. Guess I ought to find a hobby. Mr. Harvey dropped his keycard in the pond. I'll hold on to it in case he ever comes looking. But I won't go near that house. Wouldn't want to be between Mrs. Olivia and her research. Ooh. Alright, well, what's she researching? Uh, kitchen keycard, perfect, take that. Guess we're going inside the house, even though the groundskeeper was never inside the house, right? Weapon parts, shovel and a pickaxe. What am I playing, Minecraft? What am I playing, Terraria? Let's get ourselves some armor parts. Coolant tank. Even though I'm probably just going to sell it, it's just going to be empty carry away, right? Glacier, glacial water. Yeah, I don't remember, like, any of the status effects or whatever that this stuff does. Corporation Service Award, I think that's basically trash, and we have like a trillion mag picks already, so I don't think we need those. Pneumatic piston, I think that's actual garbage as well, so I don't think I'm really uh, getting anything there. That's barred, this is barred too, that's not even a door. What? <laughs> okay, well... Yeah, there's nothing else over there. Let's go into the proper manor area, I suppose. Will Wilhelmina Ambrose. And that robot's still going on. What? All right, let's go see. As we have this, like, lit up path over here. Are we actually on Gorgon itself? It looks like it is with this, like, artificial atmosphere I talked about. So I suppose that's what we've got going on here. Look at all these stars and asteroids and... Well, look at that. There's, like, the Milky Way or something like that. It's crazy. There's, like, a big PNG in the sky or something. <laughs> a big JPEG. What's this? Ambrose Manor. Hey, do you think it's haunted? I bet it's haunted. He <laughs> looks haunted. People will go to extraordinary lengths to define themselves, won't they? This is just a facade to hide behind. You think so? I'm like, they, they're apparently a bunch of hermits. Oh, is this the fish pond that guy was to? These are fake fi Oh, that's what he meant by oil the fish pond, because these are just fake, like, mechanical fish on a rail. I was wondering what that even meant. <laughs> Well, there you go. Well, I guess, yeah, we are up in space, right? So there wouldn't be an actual pond or something. Although, I guess it could make it because there's like an artificial atmosphere, maybe? I don't know. Either way, let's just sheathe our weapons. Head inside the Wilhelmina Ambrose Manor for 6,000 XP just for walking over here. Okay, don't mind if I do, right? <laughs> let's go inside. 
Man, this place is gaudy as heck. Look at all this. Reminds me of uh, Ellie's parents' house. It's like heckin' crazy looking. Is this it? Oh, whoa. There's a robot. This looks kind of sad. Like it's been waiting for someone to make a home out of it. This place has the distinct feeling of a crypt. Hmm, it does. I'm like, everything's it got like cloth draped over it, like they're hiding it or something. I don't know. What's this guy have to say? This janitor. This, this. What are they called again? Man, I forgot what Sam was called. I guess just a Sam. <laughs> Food service mechanical. There's like a chef guy, robot, and there's like no actual humans here, right? You know, this is where the mechanicals just charge and stuff. If I use this terminal, what's this? Domestic, or domestic auto mechanical routines. Main menu, I can't do anything there. One for the logs. And recent activity pantry list. What's inside the pantry, huh? Salt tuna fillets. Stock is spoiled. Please replenish. Stock is spoiled on like everything. The woolly cow steak. Mock apples. Borston beans. Hey, we got 13 of those. Nine bottles of mock apple shake. That's good. <laughs> that's all I care about, right? Recent activity. What is this? User W Ambrose. I guess, I guess that's whoever the like the name we just saw a moment ago. I forgot what it was. It was like a weird long name. <laughs> Attempted to log the system. Or log into the system. Final attempt failed. Locking terminal for five days. It doesn't say when that took place though. Uh, attempt to log into system. One try remaining. Two tries remaining. And O Ambrose activated dinner time protocol. Meal was Wooly Loaf. Hambrose <laughs> or H Ambrose <laughs> activated dinner time protocol. Uh, Tropicale salad. O Ambrose activated for forced toast. Corruption detected in earlier logs. Omitting corrupted. Okay. I guess. I guess whatever her name was. Wilhelmina or what? Yeah, Wilhelmina Ambrose wanted some food, but. Oh god, I thought that was like a severed head right there. It was just a picture. <laughs> uh, but she wanted some food, but she couldn't log in or something like that. So that sucks. I guess she's dead now. <laughs> hey, you're just like the Moon Man or whatever. Let's go. How do we get into there? Is there a map? It's been a while. I think there is a map, right? Yeah, this. Uh, I guess there's stairs over. Oh, yeah, there were actual literal stairs. I don't know why I walked past it. Jeez. Here we go. Yeah, this is more on level with that, so that's good. Another food service mechanical. Is this it? Is this going to take us over there? That's locked. What if I could pick it, though? Optional master bedroom. Oh, yeah, we have the kitchen key card, don't we? So we can go into the kitchen if we wanted to, but weren't we just. No, I think we're like in the dining hall or something, huh? What is this? Oh, God. There's like rocking it. This, yeah, this definitely feels like haunted or spooky or something, you guys. We got glacier water, earrings. Yeah. Felix, I, I I guess I'm glad I brought him. Seems like his commentary would be pretty amusing. What's this? Loop? Music box? Don't mind if I do. It's trash, but I'll take it. Take that necklace too. It's probably going to be money. How are we doing on carry weight though? <laughs> Just so I can carry as much stuff as possible. How do I check that again? It's been a little while. Oh, it's up there. 190 out of 250. Yeah. Yeah, we have a lot of a lot of room for uh, loot. Doesn't really matter too much. Let's go into this room over here though, and let's go talk to Wilhelmina Ambrose. And hopefully she's not starved. You lucky? Huh? Apparently not. So who the devil are you? I'm bragging. I'm bragging, by the way. Captain of the unreliable, Alex Hawthorne, dashing space captain, smuggler, and free spirit. Never mind who I am. What are you doing? You know what? You know what? I'm going to tell her that I'm bragging. You don't say. Well, make yourself at home, Captain. I'm sure we have much to discuss. Do you see that glowing chunk of space rock? That's Gorgon. My birthright. My burden. And the bane of my existence. I hate to drink alone. And this is my third. So join me in raising a glass. To Gorgon. So I guess, yeah, we're not on Gorgon right now. Give a solemn toast to Gorgon, and I could do a cheerful toast to Gorgon. Oh, yeah, solemn would be to Gorgon. Are you Mini Ambrose? Maybe. I'm like, Wilhelmina? Maybe the Mina could be shortened to Mini? Maybe? I don't know. You want to toast the asteroid? Yeah, why would you toast the asteroid? What happened here? It's a little early for me, but hey, you know what? She gave me a drink. I'll toast it. Give a cheerful toast to Gorgon. To Gorgon. May cosmic winds shepherd her to the nearest star. <laughs> Whoa, why would you say that? What did this asteroid do? I'm Wilhelmina Ambrose, but you can keep it short and call me Minnie. Nice to meet you too. Wow. Now what brings you to my house, handsome? I take it you didn't come all this way for the beverages, the starry skies, or the pleasant company. Well, it's, well, it's kind of complicated, honestly. Yeah, I'm, I'm here about a severed arm. Do you know anything about this severed arm right here? 
<laughs> just seeing the sites roaming the colony. You know how it is. No. Yeah, I'm here about a severed arm that I just got in the heckin' mail. Can you can you explain this? A severed arm? How positively ghoulish. You know this is a private residence, not a curio shop. Does the name Lucky Montoya mean anything to you? This arm came with a portable phonograph that mentioned you by name. Lucky Montoya's arm is stinking up my ship, and I'm here to find out why. Yeah, maybe I'll be a little bit more serious now. Does the name Lucky Montoya mean anything to you? Lucky Montoya is my personal freelancer. Fascinating man. Very brooding and theatrical. Always staring into space and twirling a bullet over his knuckles. The more lost we feel, the more we put on a show for others. I could do that. The staring into space part, I mean. I'm still working on the bullet twirling thing. But if something happened to him... Oh dear. I suppose that makes him my former freelancer now? Yep. I, I assume. Maybe he's walking around with like half an arm or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> Sorry about your loss. Well, what's his arm doing on my ship? Exactly. Any idea who might have wanted him killed? Yeah, I don't know which one to do, either two or three. I guess maybe also one. But, uh, yeah, can you explain this whole arm situation to me? Sheesh. I sent Lucky on a dangerous mission to the Gorgon asteroid. Whoever found his remains must have wanted to inform the next of kin. What a time for his luck to run out. We were in the middle of something grand, and I really can't afford another setback. Man, I don't have enough intelligence to do number two. Let me guess, you need someone to finish whatever Lucky started. What were you two doing? You sure got over the bad news fast. <laughs> His recording mentioned a high-stakes job. Maybe she knows someone about it. Maybe maybe she hired him to do a high-stakes job. He couldn't finish it. And now we have to finish it. Let's do number four. Funny that you should bring that up. How would you like to be my new freelancer? There's been a recent vacancy, and I think you're well-suited to the job. I could get used to people offering us a job at first glance. Usually they just squint at us all suspicious-like. Or reach for a pistol. I don't believe you thought this through. Or much else, for that matter. D I'm looking for someone rough around the edges. A gorgeous, dashing scoundrel type. Incidentally, someone good with their hands. Are you seriously offering me the dead guy's job? How likely am I- Yeah, see, I knew she was going to do this. <laughs> How likely am I to wind up like your old freelancer? <laughs> gorgeous? Please. Give me the details and I'll let you know. Yeah, she's probably just offering me the dead guy's job and doesn't really care about it. <laughs> as long as the job is done, right? But apparently, uh, this lucky Montoya guy, he said she pays well and her money's good, so hey, maybe I'll do it. How am I going to respond to her, though? <laughs> maybe I'll do number two. How likely am I to wind up like your old freelancer? The man lost an arm. What are the odds of that happening twice? Of course, Gorgon is a treacherous place, and my own family's involvement with it has been fraught. Allow me to lay out the facts, and you can decide for yourself if you want to be my chief investigator. My mother, Dr. Olivia Ambrose, worked for Spacer's Choice at the Gorgon Research Facility. She was brilliant, the top scientist in her field, until tragedy struck. Go on. I'm not surprised. Spacer's Choice is one big accident waiting to happen, it's true. Spacer's Choice would never allow anything bad to happen on their watch. Yeah, that's a meme. Let's do number two. I'm not surprised. Spacer's Choice is one big accident waiting to happen. I wish I could say otherwise. <laughs> yep. One day, Spacer's Choice shut down all research and evacuated Gorgon. Everyone had to scramble or risk getting left behind. It was chaos. Employees fled for their lives. Mother... never made it home. I'm told she wasn't the only casualty that fateful day. Mother's name has since been dragged through the mud. Spacer's Choice blames her for the collapse of Project Gorgon, and I just know they're lying. Stick to the basics. What do you need from me? Why would they lie? Sounds like she was the corporation's patsy. Yeah, that might do that one. What do they say about her? May I do number three, like I said, she sounds like she was the corporation's patsy. My thoughts exactly. Mother would not have allowed Project Gorgon to fail. Something happened on that asteroid, and my family took the fall for it. What did you send Lucky to find? Tell me about your mother. What do you think happened on Gorgon? Where do we get started? Yeah, what do you think happened? Especially with this whole arm situation. I don't know. And Spacer's Choice won't say. They don't discuss anything that tarnishes their brand. 
Gorgon has a dark history. The project fell apart. Personnel were shuffled across the system. With Mother gone, now I'm all that's left. Well, let's just be honest here. Space's choice already tarnishes their own brand. Let's just face the facts. <laughs> I'm like, what is their motto again? It's not the best choice. It's Spacer's choice. It's literally in their motto. <laughs> or something like that, right? There must be someone who knows what happened on Gorgon. Yeah, probably. She's going to be like, oh, go here, talk to this guy, probably. So might end up doing that one. Where's your father in all this? So Gorgon's just an empty wasteland now. Yeah, what about your father? Where is he in all this? Is he dead or something? Father lost more than his job on Gorgon. I'll say no more than that. The asteroid may look like a glittering jewel, but I assure you the resemblance ends there. Gorgon is poisonous to the core. One might even say cursed. Or haunted, as Felix would probably say. <laughs> Just like the second house. Well, I've heard enough. What do you need from me? Tell me about your mother. Where do we get started? Yeah, it's due number one. I've heard enough. What do you need from me? Whatever happened on Gorgon wasn't mother's fault. I simply need the evidence to prove it. We're going to drag the truth, kicking and screaming into the light. Even if it means bringing ruin and humiliation to Spacer's choice. All the evidence I need should be in Mother's journal. You can find it in her office on Gorgon, in the heart of the old research facility. Hmm. First I have some questions about the job. If it helps you get some closure, I'll find the journal. Danger and corporate intrigue? This sounds like my kind of job. Don't worry, if Spacer's Choice is hiding something, I'll get to the bottom of it. I can't make any promises until I've seen Gorgon myself. I don't know, I, I, I could sound like basically most of the options up there are like really confident. So I could either tell the truth and be like, yeah, I'm not going to make any promises. Or I'll try and like assure her that I'm going to get this job done on like that, that, that guy that lost his arm, right? Maybe I'll, maybe I'll end up doing number one, try and get some more information out of this before we jump into it, but... Sounds like we just need to get our journal that's in the office on Gorgon, in the heart of the old research facility. Sounds easy enough. I wonder what else we're going to be able to ask here. I'm not surprised. Between the family drama and the corporate conspiracy, it must feel like you've stepped on a landmine. Speak freely, Captain. What good is your mother's journal to you now? Why did you wait before starting an investigation? How did this investigation get lucky killed? You know what, if, I, if I'm going to ask any of these questions, it's probably going to be number three. How did this investigation get lucky killed? You know as much as I do, I'm afraid. Spacer's choice abandoned Gorgon, but the asteroid is far from unoccupied. Between the marauders, the wildlife, and whatever escaped the labs, danger abounds. Well, that kind of answers the question there, but at the same time... If Marauders did it, they'd probably just eat his dead body instead of send it to me. I'm like, that's good, delicious flesh going to waste, right? <laughs> the wildlife, you know, probably same thing there. Whatever escaped the labs, maybe the same thing there, so... It must be something else, then. And yeah, what is this about stuff that escaped the labs? Let's do number four. Hold on, what escaped the labs? Toward the end of the project, I heard Mother grumble about some test subjects running amok outside of their enclosure. I wish I could tell you more. Just watch yourself. If you aren't careful, you stand to lose more than an arm. <laughs> I might lose an arm and a leg. Yeah, honestly, I'm not too crazy about the other uh, questions, so uh, no further questions for me, at least for right now. Are you ready to get started? The longer we wait, the colder the trail gets. All right, let's do, uh, let's do number two. Danger in corporate entry? Sounds like my kind of job. Now, are we going to talk about money here or what? Because Lucky, he, he said you pay well and your money's good, so uh, let's talk about that delicious cash. I admire your enthusiasm. This manner has echoed with my own we, and I can feel you breathing new life into the walls. When you reach Gorgon, pack a weapon you trust. The corporate lockdown hasn't stopped the wilderness from squirming in through the cracks. Now be careful. What can I expect to face on Gorgon? She's probably going to say, same, say the same thing. Marauders, wildlife, anything escaped the labs and stuff, so I doubt that. What did you tell Lucky about this job? Well, I guess we'll do that one. I told him everything I've told you. Just the facts. Maybe a couple of harmless embellishments. Why? I'm trying to calculate the odds of this gig getting been killed. I wonder if he had any companions like we have companions. Like right now, we're probably going to go over there with the same Felix and uh, Vicar Max that we have right now. So maybe we have better odds of surviving if we have companions compared to Lucky. Maybe it might have been Solo. I don't know. Just making sure I have what I need. No reason. So where do I get started? Yeah, let's do number two. Still... You're smart to ask. Lucky spent most of our time together spinning a pistol around his index finger. 
Not sure you listen to any of my advice. But you won't let me down, will you, Captain? I'll be careful. What can I expect to face on Gorgon? I try not to, since it's my life on the line. <laughs> Let's do that one. That's the spirit. There's a little saloon near Gorgon's landing pad. The Sprat Shack. Lucky was renting a room. So if you want to follow his trail, that would be the place to start. The Sprat Shack? Hope they don't serve real Sprats. There's a Sprat worse place than the Groundbreaker. Tried it once, and I was sick for a week. Just so we understand each other, money is no object. I'm willing to squander the family fortune if you get me what I want. Between your payment and any salvage you happen across, you'll walk away from this rich enough to buy a mansion of your own. How does that sound? <laughs> now we're talking. Music to my ears. What's the catch? There's always a catch. We can talk about my fee when this is done. <laughs> Yeah, I think also back to Felix. I, I think I had a sprat on a stick on the br groundbreaker, didn't I? Did I buy that one time? I don't know if I ever actually ate it or at least saw it or something like that. Either way, maybe I'll do number two. What's the catch? There's always a catch. The catch? No one's ever done this before, and the only person who tried is a corpse. Believe me, that's enough. Here's your nav key, Captain. Safe travels. I'll be in touch. Maybe you don't need to hear this from me. But I'm sorry about your mother. Why would I bring that up now just randomly? Gorgon, here I come. Yeah, I'll be in touch. Let's do number one. A word of advice before you go, Captain. Trust no one. Mother's office is in the heart of the Gorgon facility. You're free to salvage anything that isn't nailed down. I only want what's mine. Don't worry about us. We're well versed in helping ourselves to anything that's not nailed down. What's that supposed to mean? Hey boss, what's our policy on getting to know our clients a little better? You think she'd appreciate some company? Talk to her, Felix. You won't know unless you try. Yeah, I knew like immediately Felix, uh, he had the hearts for many. Do whatever you want, just leave me out of it. Absolutely not everything you, <laughs> everything you feel is wrong. Yeah, you know what, let, let's encourage him. Let's do number one. Talk to her, Felix. You won't know unless you try. All right. I can do this. Here goes. Miss Ambrose? Must get awful lonesome up here all by yourself. What do you do for fun? Cause uh, if you're interested, I've got the full set of Terror on Monarch. Whoa. The last thing I need in my life is more corporate propaganda masquerading as entertainment. Whisper, Minnie, he, he's trying to flirt with you. I'd be willing to give Felix some time off if you wanted to watch it together. Let them talk. I don't know if I should give her the signal immediately or anything like that. Usually it's the other way around, to be quite honest, right? <laughs> but I, I, I definitely see her perspective thinking that Felix is like shilling this stuff, right? <laughs> maybe, I'll, maybe I'll whisper to her. Let's do it. Let's do number one. He is? Oh dear. It's been a while and I'm out of practice. <clears throat> you seem very nice and very pretty. And I'm sure there's a wealthy heiress out there who'd be extremely lucky to run away with you. Alas, it isn't me. Are we in agreement? Hey, no problem. I figured it was worth a shot at least. Well, that was kind of savage. <laughs> but hey, at least he tried, right? Yeah, boss? No, oh, I thought I could talk to him about something right there, okay. Well, there you go, you guys. I guess, I guess that kind of introduced us to the whole barrel on Gorgon thing. We're going to be getting this this woman, her, her mom's diary or journal, notebook, whatever it was. That's going to be in the middle of Gorgon. And yeah, we're not on Gorgon right now. We're on, I guess, the asteroid that was around Gorgon that we saw before we came into here. So that's going to be pretty interesting. But yeah, she gave us a nav key. So now we could actually head to Gorgon itself. So that's going to be pretty good, I guess. Oh, what was this? There's like weird, like what I would call like crop circles or something. What, what is this supposed to symbolize? the solar system here or something? Tranquility Garden discovered 1500 HP. I have no idea. Oh, what was this? Loot? Claw Rake? Magpick? Yeah, it's like the sand thing. I don't know what they're called. Just ran up dirt right there to ruin the sand. Circles. I almost called them crop circles. <laughs> but yeah, I don't, I don't know what this is supposed to be. But I guess it is some sort of like tranquility thing with like sand and stuff. And you just kind of take a rake and you kind of spin around in circles and make like weird elaborate designs and she has like big pieces of rock around here to relax around and stuff like that. Either way, Leah, like I said, I guess we could just do this and just travel to, uh, wait, what? Were we able to like fast travel to the ship and stuff like that previously? But I guess not. Maybe it's just been a little while and I forgot how to do it, but there you go. Speaking of fast travel, let these guys teleport to me because of that. Boom. 
Alright, let's go back onto the ship. I guess we'll go use the nav key to go onto Gorgon proper. And we'll go to the Sprat something, I forgot what it was called. And uh, try and go to Lucky's old hotel or motel that he was staying at previously, right? So where, where was this on here? Is that where we just were? Is that her mansion right there? Maybe. That might have been it. And over here, I guess, would be Gorgon. With the- Oh, whoops, just shot out the window. <laughs> and I guess over here would be the uh, Spacer's Choice Research Facility that they're doing Project Gorgon on, huh? Somewhere over here, so it seems rather big. Either way, probably going to be doing that next episode. The game's already crashed, like, 14 times. It literally crashed in the middle of this footage that you guys are seeing me right now, so... Hopefully I edit that out to make sure it's, like, seamless. <laughs> but for right now... Oh, whoops. Oh, yeah, I forgot about TTD, didn't I? Sheesh. Yeah, I definitely want to continue to remember uh, using that. And of course the dash, where we could dash left and right and stuff. Uh, yeah, like that. Kind of like dodge stuff pretty pretty quickly. So definitely want to get used to the controls, get acquainted with the controls and stuff like that. But for right now, see if we can actually travel to Gorgon itself, the Ambrose Manor. Gorgon landing pad. Yes, there it is. Yeah, nothing changed here. I guess I, I thought we'd get a little bit closer to that instead of that. Oh, wait, are we closer to something else right now? Whoa, look at that. It's like some sort of like ripple in space time right there. It's kind of crazy. But yeah, I guess next episode we're going to be actually starting the Paralon Gorgon, going to Gorgon itself, and going to be investigating this, this like research facility that was like abandoned and then trying to get her mother's journal back and all that kind of stuff. So, oh God, the game's crashing again. All right, you guys are back. Man, it took us like right outside of the unreliable. I assume this is after we did the mission and all that stuff, right? Maybe, let's see. Can we teleport to uh, fast travel now to, uh, we're gonna, okay, yeah, we can. Landing pad, boom. All right. Yeah, I, I basically already did the outro right there. Yeah, I knew I was going to heck and crash again eventually. It crashes like right after I talk about the game crashing. That was kind of crazy. Oh, it's crashing again! All right, guys, I'm back again. I guess I'll do the outro during like the, the main menu screen or something like that. So hopefully it doesn't crash again, right? Jeez. I don't know why it's crashing, but thankfully we got through like the intro part of the heck and DLC. <laughs> So that's good. But either way, thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. That'll put my latest videos on our YouTube homepage as soon as they come out so you don't miss an episode. Because next time we come back with some more of the Outer Worlds Peril on Gorgon, we're finally heading to Gorgon to pursue this, this, this mystery of what happened on Gorgon? What happened with the Spacer's Choice Research Facility? What's in? Minnie's mother's journal as she wants it so bad she's willing to give us such a huge fortune, right? Definitely curious about that, but that's going to be for next episode. So until then, thank you guys all very much for watching, and I'll see you guys here next time. Oh, bye there.